Peggy 7. Thank you. We've always wondered what could happen if our crazy rabbits were unleashed upon the world of Mario. Today, the dream is reality. And to talk about this unexpected encounter, it is my great honor to welcome a very special guest someone I truly admire. Please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miyamoto-san. Thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. We are so happy to have you today. So what, what have you brought oh, with you? Well, what did you bring? <laughs> this is a life-size replica of uh -huh. one of the weapons from this game. Wow. Cool. I'm sure you love it. <laughs> I brought one for you. OK. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Woo. So. <laughs> So let's take a picture. Woo! <laughs> he can have yeah. our conversation. Okay. These are a little bit different from the weapons you see in Ghost Recon. <laughs> yeah, very different weapons for cute. very different worlds. Uh, <laughs> this one is, I think, very effective in the, the world of Mario and Rabbit. So, should do well. <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud of Ubisoft's long-standing collaboration with Nintendo. You know, from the DS to the Wii, and uh, more recently for the impressive launch of the Switch, you know, it has always been, we have always been inspired by Nintendo and by all the great work you have been able to do. Yes, thank you very much for all the work that we've been able to do together over the years with Ubisoft. I mean, Eves, it's already been about 25 <laughs> years since you and I first met. And every year at E3, you're kind enough to invite me to your booth, and we get to take lots of pictures and videos, and I've even recorded messages for Ubisoft employees in the past. <laughs> so over the years, I've always felt the deep, heartfelt passion that Ubisoft developers have for Nintendo and its characters. But on the other hand, uh, because we're both software developers, we've also looked at each other as kind of yeah. rivals and, and sure. tried to see who could make the best software. Uh, but of course, I've known the Rabbids characters for many years, and I have many Rabbids figures uh, decorating my desk. Wow. Um, and so I've always been a fan of the characters and their humor. 
だから今回の話があった時にダビッツがどんなユーモアをこうゲームの中で見せてくれるかすごい楽しみにしてたんですね。Uh, so since this project first started, I've been very excited to see what kind of humor the rabbits could bring to the Mario world. <笑>でただだあのダビッツさんに会った時にね、うん、ダビッツさんに一つだけお願いしたんです。And、so when I met、uh, Davide San, who is the、uh, creative director of this game. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, when, I, when I met Davide San, I had just, just one condition for this project. I had to jump to the game, or so you platform game, or not. マリオで今まで作ったことのないジャンルのゲームを作ってほしいとお願いしました。I said, whatever you do, don't try to make a, a jump game or a Mario platformer. Try to make a Mario game that has never been made before. <laughs> よかったですね。<laughs> <laughs> it's, and it's great. And I can tell you, it was an exciting, very、uh, exciting challenge、mm-hmm. for all our teams. And I think we've done something you will love.、Mm-hmm. So, thank you very much for giving us the chance to, to perform on this game. はい、本当にあの。こうヨーロッパで作るとこんなものができるのかとかね、それから、えっと、UBI さん、やっぱりアクションゲームをちゃんと作ってる会社なんで、こうストラテ単性のストラテジーゲームというものの、ちゃんとこうテンポのいいゲームが出来上がりました。And so, of course, because the, the game is being made in Europe, it has a very unique flavor to it.、Um, and of course, Ubisoft is very good at making action games,、uh, but this game in particular has a great layer of strategy and tactics to it,、uh, but with a very good pace. Yeah, no, it's, it's going to be fresh, actually.、Uh, so, now let's welcome Xavier, you know, the, the producer of the game, and he will show us the game. So, thanks again. Thanks again, Miyamoto. Finally, finally, we can talk about this project. <laughs> so, we've been working on this game for more than three years now, and、uh, to be at E3 today on this stage is just、uh, super exciting. So, what is this game exactly? So, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is a tactical adventure exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. And let's check right away some gameplay. So, the rabbits have been teleported into the,、uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. And it made the world completely unstable and chaotic. So, Mario, as a true hero, wants to save the day. But this time, with some new friends. And at first, they don't really know each other, s but in the end, they will form this、uh, dream team that will potentially save the Mushroom Kingdom. And as the game is a turn based tactical adventure game,、uh, combat is a really big part of the concept.、Um, so you'll fight wave after wave of rabbit that somehow turn bad. And、uh, what we see here is just、uh, the very beginning of the game, so it will be perfect to talk about the combat basics.、Uh, so the two flags you see on the screen here is to tell you that this is a battlefield zone. So you'll switch from exploration mode to battle mode. The blue zone is your zone of movement, so you move anywhere you want in that zone. But you can also use battlefield ingredients such as、uh, covers for protection. So, Rabbit Luigi here using half cover or full cover. And、uh, we also have what we call team jump. So, by jumping on your teammates, you can expand your zone of movement. So, here, Rabbit Peach using Mario, she's able to flank the enemy. 
So you can also attack the enemy behind that cover and expose them by destroying that cover, um, which is really interesting in terms of strategy because uh, for the next turn, you'll be open for uh, attacks. And last but not least, techniques. So from defensive ones like uh, Rabbit Peach Shield Boost or offensive ones like Mario's Hero Sight, he's able to attack the enemy even if it's not his turn as soon as the enemy moves. So this is the very core aspect of the game itself. So you mix and match attack options, movement abilities, techniques. But we also have um, other ingredients, such as uh, pipes, rabbit pipes. So those give you uh, a good move to uh, flank the enemy. So here, for example, Rabbit Luigi goes into the pipe, out of the pipe, dash the enemy, goes for Mario, team jump, land behind the enemy in one single movement sequence and then finish off the enemy. And what we see uh, here is actually uh, explosive cover. So those have many type of uh, super effects, and this one was a push effect. So you can push heroes or enemies out of the uh, boundaries. So again, this is just a glimpse into the basics of the game. And as you progress into the game, uh, you have more tactic tools. You'll be able to do more combo setups. You'll be able to use different type of heroes, different type of weapons, in order to battle your way through uh, the kingdom. Thank you. And that's, and that's just uh, a glimpse into the game itself. But um, first and foremost, this is a project done with passion, with our hearts. So it would not exist otherwise. So we just can't wait for you guys to try the game at E3 this week. Uh, for those who are not at E3, you'll see online coverage, videos, and surprises. So have a great conference. Have a great E3. Thank you.